cotton stocking net to protect the skin, roll all the way up to the groin. The toes are bandaged with a 4 cm or 6 cm toe bandage, depends on the toe size. After fixing once around the forefoot, the bandage is wrapped around the big toe 3 or 4 times until the skin cannot be seen underneath. Then the bandage is wrapped around the foot, from the dorsum to the next toe. All toes are bandaged in a similar manner. If the toes are small, the bandage can be folded in half, then only two layers need to be applied. Try to avoid getting creases in the gauze. Let the excess bandage run proximal over the foot. The stocking net is then pulled down over the foot. The under padding material is the breathable foam, beginning at the metatarsal head. Keep the foot in 90 degree bend. Wrap the foam over the top of the foot and towards the malleolus. Keep the tip of the heel free of foam. Flex the knee from 40 to 60 degrees and wrap the whole leg in foam with a slight pull and 50% overlap. The foam should reach all the way up to the groin.
Start the 8 cm short stretch bandage just above the toes. Wrap 3 or 4 times around the base of the foot, pulling on either side. Now wrap the bandage around the ankle and return to the forefoot. Move the foot and ankle off the therapy table to make it easier to bandage. Keep the foot in 90 degrees bend. Repeat this pattern, keeping a 1 cm gap between layers, creating a fish scale pattern. Finish the first bandage on the ankle. To get an equal pressure and crease-free application, you can smooth the bandage out with the other hand. Fix the end of the bandage with tape. Now the heel is closed using a 10 cm short stretch bandage. Place the bandage at anterior ankle and go directly over the heel with a relatively firm pressure and then go once above and once below to cover the superior and inferior edges of the heel layer. This produces a window or a cat eye pattern. Continue bandage up the leg with 50% overlap. Pull on both sides of the bandage. The knee is flexed from 40 to 50 degrees when bandaged over.
Check for equal pressure over the leg and equal overlapping. Try to avoid any creasing. For the second layer of the short stretch bandage, the direction of the bandaging can be alternated. Depending on the size of the leg, to continue with the rest of the bandages. Always start with the tail of the bandage facing up, so the end of the bandage is buried. You should feel general tightness from the bandage, but should not restrict your movement. Check the circulation. Press onto the toes and observe for capillary return in toe upon release.